Hey guys, this is Steven here with another video on how to play some of my favorite puzzles. This one is on Sandwich Sudoku, also known as Between 1 and 9. The puzzle has the same rules as regular Sudoku in that in each row, column, and 3x3 box must contain the digits 1 through 9 without repeating. However, there are some added clues with numbers along the outside, and these are the sum totals of the digits in between the 1s and 9s of the respective row or column. So what I mean by that is if we look at these numbers up here, those are the sums of the respective columns uh, if there's a 1 and a 9. So let's say hypothetically there's a 1 right here in this cell. If we look between the 1 and the 9, all the cells would have to total 7. So in this case, it would just simply be 7, just like that. And uh, in regular Sudoku, you have to have at least 17 digits pre-filled in order to solve the puzzle. In this variant, you typically start off with less numbers pre-filled because you have other types of clues. So in this example, you'll see only 14 digits were given at the start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to solve this puzzle. I won't solve the whole thing for the sake of time, but just go over my method and um, how I go about them, just so you can kind of see how it starts to unravel. So the first thing that I start with are the ones and nines, as those are the most important. Uh, if you figure out which cells can't be 1s or 9s, then you can figure out which cells must be 1s or 9s. And what I mean by that is, if we look at this first column, it's 35. And 35 is the largest possible sum uh, if you add 2 plus 3 all the way up to 8. So you know the 1 and 9 must have to be on the ends. Now I don't know which uh, cell is the 1 and which cell is the 9, but I know it's in those two. So what I'll do is I'll indicate those with an uh, O, and all the cells that it cannot be, I indicate with an X. That way I know that the 1 and the 9 must be in those cells. And then the same thing can be done with this bottom row here. We know that the 1s and 9s have to be on the edges. So all the cells in between, I can indicate uh, is not a 1 or a 9. And so I would continue to do this over and over and over again until I find all the 1s and 9s. Once you've done that, the rest of the game solves a lot like a normal Sudoku, but just with some extra hints. So more tips is understand the important numbers. And what I mean by that is the important sum. So 35, again, is probably the most important number to understand because, again, that's the largest sum you can possibly have. So we found all the 35s. Next, uh, I look for all the zeros because that's the exact opposite. Instead of having the 1s and 9s um, as far away from one another as possible, you know the 1s and 9s have to be right next to each other. So in this case, we see a 0 in this row. We know the 9 can't be here, so therefore the 9 must be here. Because if it were anywhere else, the sum in between would be greater than 0. So we can indicate the 9 goes there and X out all the other cells in that row. Okay, And then the next thing I can look at is this 3x3 three three box is already solved as far as the 1 and 9. So we know that a 1 and 9 cannot be in any of those other ones. So here's another 0. We know that a 1 or 9 won't be in this cell because there's a 5 adjacent to it. So we can X that out right there, just like that. And then after I've found all the 35s and zeros, I look for really small numbers like 2, 3, or 4. And the reason for that is if that's the sum, there can only be one space in between because there's such small numbers, nothing adds up to that. So 4, you could have 2 plus 2 equals 4, but you can't have numbers repeat in the same row or column. So that has to be a 4. So here we'll see a 4. And we know that uh, the 9 and 1 can't be here. Reason for that is, again, if, if there was a 1 or 9 there, there'd be one space, and then the other digit would be here. And then it can't be. So we can X that out there. The other thing I look for are any digits over 21 that are greater than 21. The reason for that is because if you add the three largest numbers together, 8 plus 7 plus 6, that equals 21, 
So the 1 or the 9 cannot be in the middle because there would have to be at least four cells in between. So anytime we see anything greater than 21, like we do here in this row, we can go to the smack middle cell, which is 5 in from both sides, so this middle cell, and we can X that out, knowing that's not a 1 or 9. Okay, and then the next thing I look for is any others. So here we have another 27, so we can go to this middle cell and X that out. Um, don't think there's any others. So if we see any cells that have greater than 8, we know that there has to be at least two cells in between. So we look at this one, for instance, 15, and we know the 1 or 9 can't be here or here. Because again, there, there would have to be two cells, uh, and that's just not going to work. It's going to have to be uh, more than that, because the 1 can't fit out outside, right? And then we know to the left, it's not going to be this cell, and it's not going to be that cell that has the 1, because you need to have at least two cells in between. Now, it could be this one, right? It could be 8 plus 7. But we look up, there's an 8 here already in this box. So actually, in fact, neither of these can be an 8. Um, so there's going to have to be a, a third one. So we can put an X there like that. Now we know the 1 isn't going to be in one of these. If we find any cells that have more than uh, 15 or any sums greater than 15, we know there's going to be at least three cells in between. And so, and those are just some nice little tips and tricks, right? So, for instance, um, well, here, for instance, I know this can't be a one, the cell that I'm in. Uh, so we can X that out. And then we know. Uh, in fact, then, that this corner cell is going to have to be um, a 1. Because if we look at these two, these two cells could possibly be a 9, but it can't be a 1 because there's a 1 already in that row. So with that said, we can actually turn this into a 1. And then with that, we know that this opposite end is a 9, and this opposite end up here is a 9. So you can kind of see how that goes. Other important numbers, if you see any uh, sums that are 33, 32, or 31, then there must be at least one cell outside the 1 and 9, and it's the opposite or the corollary to uh, my tip earlier. And kind of going along that uh, lines is if you see any sums, you know you could take that, subtract it from 35, and that's going to be the sum outside the 1 and 9. So what I mean by that is if we look here, in between these numbers, the sum is 0. But outside, all these other numbers would have to equal 35. Now, let's look at another example. If we look at you know, uh, 8 here, we know that if, let's say, the 1 is, let's just say hypothetically here, we know that these three would have to equal uh, 27, right? 35 minus 8. And so we know that that can't be. So we know the 1 actually can't go there. So the 1 has to go either here or... And we know the 1's not here because it's not 0. We know the 1's not here because there's already an 8 in that row. So there can't be an 8 in between. And so therefore, the 1 would be right there. And so when we look at these five cells, that has to equal 27. Right? Again, 35 minus 8, that's the number total outside the 1 and 9. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and, and that's just a little bit about how I go about this. Once you find all the 1s and 9s, it starts to unfold pretty quickly. I think the hardest part is just figuring out where the 1s and 9s go. So for instance, here we know if we look at the 9 here, that covers that row. And there's a 9 down here. So those two rows are covered. Uh, we know then the 9 must be in this center block here. And because the sum total is 0, we know that the 1 goes right there. And so forth. And, and I, I'm not going to finish this puzzle again just for the sake of time. I think you guys get it. 
Uh, but it's a lot of fun. If you enjoy doing regular Sudokus but are looking for a new challenge, I would highly recommend this. Uh, it's challenging. I think it's a little bit harder than a regular Sudoku. Uh, but go ahead, hit that thumbs up button if you like the video, and subscribe for more in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.